received a text this week that says this. The precise definition of, quote, isolated thunderstorms, end quote, not a drop here. As I greet you from our pavilion, I show you that we are having a delightful rainstorm here, and we have had it on and off this week with isolated thunderstorms. And it just amuses me so that we set this tent up uh, for actually enhanced sun protection. And on the first Sunday that we had it set up for, August the 1st, it, it provided rain protection. And so, hear this. Uh, our openness task force has met again in light of the Delta variant and its explosive nature through our lands. We will continue to meet outdoors. We will continue to strongly suggest uh, distancing, having six to eight feet minimal between you and people not from your household. We will continue to invite you to bring your own chair if that is what feels right for you. If you want to use one of our chairs, you're welcome to do that. Here underneath the pavilion, uh, we will have some chairs set up and we have been attempting to set them up with six feet of distance between pairs of chairs. Um, know that we have people that sit between the tent and the pavilion until it starts raining and uh, so far the pavilion has had ample space to invite one or two more or three people when it starts to rain. Because we are out of doors, uh, what we have been saying is masking is optional for you. Uh, if you are one of those people who has a weekly daily job that you are in the public and specifically indoors in public settings, it is becoming uh, the protocol to wear your mask more because you have more capability, ability to be encountering a variant or breakthrough infections. We are strongly encouraging all people, if it is right for you, to get vaccinated. And we are doing everything we can to support vaccinations and trying to stay as safe as possible while offering people opportunities to find community. Knowing that just like these isolated thunderstorms, uh, there are those of us who need community, who have been isolated for far too long, and for some, isolation from an emotional and a spiritual and even a biological standpoint is being harmful. And so the challenge is, is how do we live out our communal natures in the midst of this pandemic and still trying to offer as much life and love as possible. So that also entails singing. We know that it is spread through aerosol. And so what we are going to again attempt to emphasize, and we laxed on this, and I will completely uh, be the person who says we laxed on this, is we will probably diminish our singing. And if you want to sing, we will encourage you to put on a mask. Our ensembles and our singers that are in the front that are far away from people, they will not have on a mask so that it is easier to understand them. And when those of us speak into a microphone, we are at least 10 to 15 feet away from people. We will not have on a mask as well for understandability. So as we meet for worship tomorrow, I want to let you know that we will actually address living and life, specifically as we age. When I pose the question, what are the questions that we're not asking that we need to ask as a church? Astute and wise Pat said, how do we get old? And so tomorrow we will invite someone who's made it their career passion. And they do have a passion for our, those of us who were aging, whose joints are hurting and who are trying to figure out how do we age well? And how do we understand healthy aging? So that will be our topic of a conversation tomorrow from a theological and a practical standpoint as well. And so whether it is raining on you or not, or whether it's raining like right now and the sun is coming out, 
Uh, these are the times we're living in. And we will continue to listen to you. We will continue to circle the wagons and to have conversation. And then with the sermon in the community to try to make the decisions that are as safe as we can and as best for the entire community. One of the conversations I had this week with uh, Jen, who is gonna be our conversation partner tomorrow, is just the whole conversation around isolation and how we as communal beings, specifically for those of us who are single and living alone, uh, we have known deaths that have been actually due to complications with isolation. And so we are trying to balance both the ability to meet and to see one another live and in person with the need to do it with distance between ourselves and to reduce our aerosols amongst ourselves. So to try to understand what our social responsibility is, well, it is complicated. And I hope that as we do this complicated and messy work together, that we will offer one another grace and that we will think beyond ourselves and know that if we are in those situations where we are specifically indoors, that we will continue to wear our masks, whether we are vaccinated or not. And if at all possible, uh, we will keep distance between us and we will try to meet outdoors as much as possible, attempting to reduce the infection rate.